greatest coach in Buffalo football history. We're going to watch his team start with their initial possession from their own three-yard line. Stewart gives to Salam, going to the outside, and he's out of bounds at the four, run out by Tyrone Williams. Cordell Stewart, fifth-year senior, 6'3", 210, Marrero, Louisiana. His numbers are strong for 1994, even stronger through his career. But he is the wheel horse. He's the guy that makes this whole thing hum for Colorado. The game by Salam, who is one of the leading running backs in the country, was one yard. It is second down and nine. Don't be surprised if Stewart tucks him under his own arm and takes off with it. Like that. Gain is up to about the eight-yard line. One of the problems there, Keith, at that end of the end zone, the field, the end zone, the crowd, the noise, they do a lot of check with me. That time he checked off. It is third down and five for the Buffalo from their own eight-yard line. Cordell Stewart at the goal line gets pressure, passes away. The pass is caught, but Matt Lepsis, the tight end, is taken out of bounds short of the first down. They roll him out at the 12. He had to get past the 13, and the Buffaloes will have to kick. They should come out of this with pretty good field position. 7 to nothing. high kick, drifting into the wind to the 11-yard line, where Kidd takes it and comes back to the 24-yard line. here on ABC Sports in 1 Eastern 12. First down for Colorado from the 25 and Cordell Stewart the quarterback goes down hard on a driving tackle. The two linebackers on the outside for uh, Nebraska Troy Dumas number 4 and Ed Stewart number 32 are former defensive backs yep. and they are very fast. This defense they went to this defense last year there are only two players on this defense that weigh over 240 pounds. They are quick and they are very fast. Second down and nine. Stewart back throws to Westbrook on the sidelines. And he's taken out of bounds. At about the 30-yard line, here is Lynn Swan. Should not go on any quick counts. No quick counts for uh, the Buffaloes here today. Stewart with a quick drop, gets it off under pressure, bounces the ball. There were three red shirts coming after him. And they just kind of ran over people to get to him. Tony Bernie was back there trying to protect him. They took him down anyway. So the Buffaloes, for the second time, will be forced into a punt. Today was 38 yards. Two for the Buffalo. Hudson is back at the 10, and the punt going into the wind is a mile high and straight up into the air, coming down to that bright morning sun, and he makes the catch at about the 10-yard line, and now there's a penalty flag, and it might be that they didn't give him the two yards. Let's see if it And then the running backs and wide receivers, Christian Fourier is one of the better pass-catching tight ends of the country, despite the fact he's also one of the better blocking tight ends. He's a good player. Yeah, he's really a good player. The offensive front for the uh, Buffaloes, Naoli has, uh, has matured into quite a good football player. The basic strength of it is right there in the middle of the line. Stolzenberg, the center. It is now a first down and 17-yard line for Colorado as they go to Salon. And Rashawn Salon runs it to the 20, where Troy Dumas leads the tacklers for the Cornhuskers. Nebraska's defense, Phil Ellis is the new member of the linebacking core, and he's just been playing very well of late and earned himself a start. He's a 245-pound junior out of Grand Island. Doug Coleman had been the start, but Ellis who gets pretty jacked up and plays uh, awfully hard sometimes. Tony Veland is a former quarterback in there at the free safety position, and Baron Miles, we showed you a while ago, he is one of the specialists on the team. Very quick, very good player. Here comes Stewart on the option. And Cordell Stewart will have a first down as he is run out of bounds near the 32-yard line. We have 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. So the Buffaloes move the football a little bit for the first time in the ballgame. This 
This is their third possession of the ball game, and that's their first first down. The Colorado in the Big Eight is uh, outstanding. Nebraska's offense uh, is number one in the other categories. Now they're going up against a Nebraska defense that's pretty good also. In fact, Nebraska leads the uh, Big Eight in almost every defensive category. sophomore who seldom catches the pass. Nebraska, first in uh, rushing defense, scoring defense, total and second in passing. They also lead the conference in total number of sacks. And third down defense, they are outstanding. Westbrook and Kidd are the wide people. Salam to single back. Give it a Salam. Looks for daylight. And he is wrapped up at the 35-yard line. Kareem Moss, a strong safety there have been a couple of times today when Salam has been given the ball that it it, it looks like the green boss may be the spy because he's right there when well, Salam gets the ball. They're, they're using an eight-man front. Salam leads the country in three different areas, rushing yards, points scored, and all-purpose yards. And, uh, of course, Nebraska knows that. They're up in his face. They said, we're going to take away the run. You've got to throw to beat us. Could be the last play of the first quarter here. Single coverage on the outside. Hits up the middle. Good ball. Good ball hit the ground. Ball hit the ground. It's an incomplete oh, ball pass. That was a shuttle pass. Phil Ellis was right in his face, and he was trying to shovel the ball to Salam, and he almost came out of there with six points. This, this Nebraska defense is aggressive. They are attacking, and they are across the line of scrimmage. Upfield. That ball was almost intercepted for a touchdown. Pick up. The first quarter number. Well, big time numbers on the right side for Nebraska. Eight first downs to only one. The plays 23 to 11, almost more than two to one. Time of possession, of course. Eight minutes. Colorado, Nebraska had the ball more. Hold your cable operator. Choices that might be available in your area. Michael Westbrook has not seen much of the ball today. He thrown it to him one time. He is flanked way wide to the bottom of the picture. It's tough to check off. Crowd gets into it. Cordell Stewart with the option play. And they throw him out near the 28-yard line. So that's a pretty good game to Sean Salam. He will have a first down as he reaches the 32-yard line. Colorado's had the ball three times. Their starting has not been good. Their own three, their own 25 and 16. They started this drive from the 20. Haven't had it many plays. They've punted all three. Now the pressure is starting to, uh, to come. There's Charlie McBride, the defensive coordinator for the Huskers. But Colorado's not used to this. They're averaging 40 points a game and over 500 yards per game. They say, we, what's wrong? We need to get something going there. Stewart wanted to wind up and let it rip. Everything is covered downfield. Troy Dumas then, as he pulls it down and takes off, steps into the hole and stops him after Cordell. Second down and four after Cordell Stewart's run. Some very good work in that Nebraska secondary. This is Salon trying for the first down. And he's got it. Very, very strong. That initial contact. Five carries and 17 yards so far. First down for the Cornhuskers. Uh, for the Colorado at their own 43. As the Cornhuskers step into the middle this time. Chain carrying the ball. They really knock you off the ball. Well, you're right. Normally they're ahead and they, they get a little complacent. But, but they need to get fired up. This is Stewart on the option. And he's got a first down. The Nebraska 40-yard line. Now, Stewart, as I mentioned, he needs to get this team fired up. His his versatility is his strength. He got the strong arm. He can run. He's got the option. He can escape if he's back there trying to throw, and nothing nothing uh, is open. It breaks down. He just takes off. Rick Neuheisel is the guru for uh, Cordell Stewart this year. Rick came over from UCLA to coach the quarterbacks for Bill McCartney, and he spent a lot of time. Cordell Stewart, and he's, he's improved him a lot. 
helped him a lot. That's right. This is Salam breaking to the sidelines, looking for the marker, and he's close to it before Kareem Moore. Huh? Yeah. You guys got to come on camera wearing something, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> Concerned. You need to put some points on the board. First down from the 28-yard line. Stewart back to throw. Goes to the sideline, and the pass is incomplete. The pass was intended for Matt Letzis. Kareem Moss. 5.59 to play in the first half, with Nebraska leading 10 to nothing. Second down and 10 for the Buffaloes. This is Salah into the middle. A little skating move, and he picks up three yards on the carry to the 25. Two in this conference. They lost two tough ball games to this same team. The team that has won this game the last six years have gone on to the Orange Bowl. Third down and seven. Now Stewart's trying to change his play, and the crowd is trying to defeat him. Option. Nothing doing this time. Number 86, Dwayne Harris, a big senior out of Vestmer, Alabama, was waiting, stayed at home, made the play. Blake Anderson gets it down. The kick is up. It's into the wind. It is short. No good. Well, Nebraska wins another skirmish as Colorado is turned away and the score remains 10-0 Huskers with 434 in history. Also, Colorado has only won two of the last seven games against Nebraska and uh, Nebraska's won the last two. Two years ago here at Lincoln, Nebraska beat Colorado 52 to 7. Here's the kickoff by Herstad. Kid way back there, seven, eight yards in the end zone, will not bring it up. And the Buffaloes will snap it from the 20. One of the things that Colorado does so well is their two-minute offense. It has been outstanding. Cordell Stewart is the man. But I don't know if 36 seconds is enough time. I, I say that remembering what he did on the Michigan earlier in the season. Both teams. Colorado has two times out to work with. They run it to Salam. So apparently uh, they're going to take it to the clubhouse. As it is, they'll have one more snap if they want it. There's a look at the comparison of the quarterbacks. Well, as we mentioned at the opening, the quarterbacks would, would play a major role in this, and Osborne saying that we can win with Beringer. It certainly is uh, five seconds. A very deliberate pace here by the Buffaloes. Time is gone. Okay, the first half's over. And so at halftime, it is Nebraska 17, Colorado nothing. The Buffaloes will have the ball to start the second half of play. They won the original toss. And the second half's underway. Down the field it goes to Kidd. He looks for some daylight and found some as he got the ball out to about the 28-yard line. So look at the first half stats. They are in favor of Nebraska. There are no turnovers. Time of possession big in favor of Nebraska. Total offense 234 to 89. This offense for Colorado is second in the nation in total offense. Only 89 yards in the first half. And they come out revved up. You know that. Here is Cordell Stewart trying to get around the corner and it's the defensive pursuit of Troy Dumas that keeps him from turning upfield and turning that into a big play because Dumas really was the last guy. Really only had four possessions. The last was just before the half. They finally moved it for 12 plays and missed the field goal, but really nothing doing for the Buffs in the first half. Put the ball on the 34-yard line. Second down and four. Stewart was two of six. Only seven yards passing, rushing. The Salam had 38. Not much, uh, not much offense on that graphic. Bill Savoy checks into the lineup now as Westbrook goes in motion for Colorado on third down, the second down and four. Stewart's pass down the middle, just beyond the reaching hands of Matt Lexus. 
So all of a sudden, the Colorado tight end becomes adventurous. The other one. Well, that's exactly right. What they're forcing. Well, Stewart, Nebraska was in a blitz posture. And they're still gathered all right up around the line of scrimmage. Peter almost jumped offside. Stewart back to throw. Let's it go down the middle. It is knocked away. What a great play by Tyrone Williams. I mean, Williams saved a touchdown because Michael Westbrook at six foot four was on his way home. Man to man coverage all the way because the Nebraska was blitzing. Everybody, there's nobody in the center of the field. If he catches this ball, he's got a lot of running room. But Williams, number eight, does the job. That's just good defense, Keith. We're going to put pressure on the quarterback. Alford has caught four balls today for 70 yards and a touchdown. That kick kind of dying whale. It just kind of hit there for foot. And it is picked up, and a penalty flag is thrown by the referee, Jim Laurie, Herschel Troutman. Hailback had the ball and worked it up around the 25. But let's see about the penalty. Here's John Laurie. The penalty moves it back. First and ten, the ball is snapped from the 11, and Stewart throws to the sidelines to Lepsis, the tight end. And he will pick up a first down on the play and not get up. Shake it up on the play. In the nation, Barringer stats uh, put him at number two in the conference. Right now, the pressure is on him. This team trails 24 nothing in the third quarter. The ball to Salon, who has been controlled so far today, and this time gets around the corner, and he is tackled out of bounds. That's a late hit by Phil Ellis, and it's going to cost Nebraska 15 big yards. It's down Colorado up to Nebraska 48. They come to this side again. Stewart keeps it, and Kareem Moss, number 29, is up there to get him, and Phil Ellis comes over to help. At the top of the picture. a receiver down the sidelines. The ball is drilled into the middle of the field of Westbrook. He is wrestled down finally at the 35-yard line. Now here's 20. He's only going 4.6. The quarterback has got to be the 4.3 so they can strike in one play and get back on the scoreboard. Salam tries a carry here and gets nothing out of it. Troy Dumas was there to meet him. Little shoving match between Ed Stewart and one of the Buffalo. Oh, yeah, yeah, the tight end. So long again, wide to the bottom of the picture as a receiver. He's a good one. And Stewart has a look at him and throws it to him. The ball is bouncing around and he's on the ground and is ruled an incomplete forward pass. He never really had his grip on it. The ball was bouncing around the whole time. They're lucky it was not intercepted. They've <laughs> been knocking that ball around for about five yards yep. and he's the speedster and they want to go to him and they let it fly and Westbrook is in the end zone and he's over everybody's head and it is incomplete and so once again the Nebraska black shirts the defense hanging tough it's fourth down and ten five they've tried it five times this season Let's see what happens and Salam is a wide receiver. Here they come. They got a piece of him, but he stepped away from it. And get another piece of him and take him down at the 41-yard line where the Nebraska Cornhuskers will have the football. I mean, that Nebraska defensive front on that play just sold out. They're going to blitz. What that does, we're saying we can cover you on the outside one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to give you all this room down here. We can cover you. We've got more guys that you can block. The linebackers are blitzing the first man he gets away from. Then he gets away from another one right here. Just too much quickness on the defensive side for Nebraska. And the Huskers take over with Schlesinger back in at fullback and Phillips behind the area. See what your cable man has to offer for your pay-per-view. At Ohio State-Penn State game, very big ball game with the whole Big Ten structure of things. And the field position for Colorado has just been awful all day for the Buffs. Cordell 
Stewart lets it go. The ball is caught by Michael Westbrook. Shrugs off a tackler and gets it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Westbrook is 6'4", 210 pounds, and very strong. You don't arm tackle him. There's a little bit of urgency here now. You got to start throwing the ball on first down. Westbrook with great speed, big receiver, caught over 70 passes a couple of years ago when the style of the offense was a little bit different than it is today. And Leslie Dennis, uh, freshman uh, quarterback at 5'8", 165, is not going to handle it. And that one up the middle to Salam, and he's gone to the races. Finally out of bounds, way downfield at the 30-yard line of Nebraska, and it was Baron Miles who finally came across and caught him. From behind, there's going to be a block by the wide receiver. Watch the blocking up front. That's Irwin, 63, that gets a good block on the middle line. Well, now watch from the left side. Right there was a wide receiver with a good block that sprung him for 41 yards. Just inside the 30, first down for the Buffaloes. Crowd starting to come up at that end of the field now, making more noise. And Stewart back. Dumps it off to Salam. Has a blocker in front of him and reaches the 24 before he is taken down. That's about a six. We need to throw the plays and run the plays and have a chance to make some big yards. Salam comes back to the inside. Not there as Dante Jones was among those who helped anchor the defense. Here's 20. Well, Keith, they do have to open up to try and put some points on the scoreboard, but they're going to have to do it without number 88 sophomore tight end Matt Lepsis. He will be out of the ball game. He has a separated shoulder. And by the way, Steve Roska, his injury was updated at halftime. He has torn cartilage in his left knee. Keith? So two players are gone from the roster, two of the starters. Yep. Third down and four now for Colorado at the 23 of Nebraska. Salam will get there. Two tackles on this defensive team. It's very rare that you see a defensive tackle near the top in tackles on the team of defense. And he is. He's number two. Fourth and two. Salam getting close to 100 now. Buffalo. 24 nothing. The best curve leading. Big play right here. Miller is in at fullback. He's usually in there to block. Down he goes. Number 99, Terry Cornelie. Cornelie blowing up the middle. And the big senior from Hyannis got his man. Just too quick on the defensive side. 55, Peter. And Keneally, number 99. And Keneally gets there. Just too big and strong and quick. Tried to run the option this way. It didn't look good anyway, even if he had to have cut back. And he... Oh, the low, right there. First turnover. That's the first turnover of the ball game. It's on the 36. First down for the Buffaloes. And John Laurie has to come over and kind of move Colorado back off the side of the field. There's a chance to... First down for the Buffaloes. Now let's see if they can make something of their opportunity from the 36-yard line. Cordell Stewart back looks to throw it, does, and is there. Pass is drilled, caught by Ray Carruth. And Ray Carruth will pick up about eight yards on the play. Now let's join John Saunders. On second down and one, Salam carries the ball and looks like he may have the first down as he picks up about a yard on the play. First time today that the Colorado defense has stepped up and stuffed the Nebraska offense. And done anything before that, I mean, the Nebraska's offense had crossed midfield on every possession. Yeah. Crowd getting into the act again as Stuart tries to call his play. Has some time there. 
this side to Westbrook, tailway. And down to the six yard line, Michael Westbrook. He is really strong once he gets that ball tucked away. And you cannot arm tackle him, you just gotta drill him to get him down. It'll be first and goal at the six. A lot of teams call this wide receiver screen a jailbreak. Watch as the offensive line are going to go down. The, up, the other line goes the other way. And uh, the receiver, the bottom of your screen is the wide receiver. They can throw this either way. Once to the back, to the right, or the split in to the left. Salam. Touchdown. Colorado finally gets on the scoreboard at 106 to play in the third quarter. No pressure, they feel back. Kick is high in the air. Wynn holds it up. Hudson comes up, takes the ball at about the 17. And they've got him out of bounds at about the 17. Possession, the numbers look a little bit better for him. 232 yards of total offense. Of course, the one turnover for Nebraska led to the score by the Buffaloes. Possession still almost two to one in favor of Nebraska. They put it on the 15-yard line for the start of this possession. Stewart gives it to Salam, and he finds some room. They're now starting to find some daylight for the running attack as they slant it off the tackles, and the gain is out to the 27 and a first down. Looking to throw, does, bringing Westbrook back into the middle. He chooses to go the other way, and there's a gain of about five on the play. Play design as the wide receiver screen coming inside, but it was plugged there, so Westbrook just took off the other way. Well, they're down in five, Stewart. Passes away for the tight end. Fourier tries to one-hand it and reel it in. Operator for the games available on pay-per-view. That's next weekend on ABC. Colorado is still zero for seven in third down conversion. is a key stat right there. They haven't converted on third down. That won't this time either. Cordell Stewart threw short of the man way, way, way wide to this side of the field. James Kidd. Just a poor throw, Keith. It had a flip. Should get the ball uh, short of the... Oh, my goodness. That's a terrific punt into the wind. He got a tight spiral on it and drove the ball away back to the three-yard line and they tackle him at the six. Huge punt by Erstad. Great coverage by the kicking team. They have been inside the Colorado 20-yard line. Keith, when the coaches talk about this game tomorrow, they'll talk about field position. For Colorado, 10 possessions have they've started their 10, 10 of their possessions from inside the 28-yard line, and three of them from inside their own 10-yard line. Stewart out of the end zone. Throws complete. Ball is caught by Ray Carruth. And gets a big play out of it as he moves all the way to the 25-yard line. They've been very successful in this style of offense. This is Salam slashing up the middle and picks up about six yards. Score remains 24-7. Colorado did not score in the ball game until late in the third quarter. They even threatened, really, until late in the third quarter. Here in the fourth quarter, here they come. And that's exactly what they're doing today. Stewart gets the ball away, and the pass is incomplete. He had a man lingering on the sidelines, Christian Fourier. And under the pressure, he did not get the ball to him. Coming up now in six seconds on the uh, snap clock. Get it off with one to spare. Pass complete to Westbrook, taken down at the 45 of Nebraska by Tyrone Williams. He's got a first down, and the Buffaloes move the chains again. And here's Swanee. Well, Keith, with number 16, Matt Russell, the sophomore inside linebacker, left the game. He had a burner, a little pinched nerve, and it's his left arm and shoulder that are affected, but he will be back in the ballgame. Keith? That's 18 tackles from Russell today, too. Westbrook, seven catches now for 99 yards. They go inside with Salam carrying, and he is now over 100. He's something like 130 yards. He's got 126 yards on 21 carries today. Second down and nine. Down 
the sidelines for Westbrook, and it's too long, incomplete. The wind is at Stewart's back, and when you put that much air under the ball, the wind is going to impact. It's still, it's still a blocking, blocking and tackling game. Third and nine. Option, Stewart. Free safety, who was literally right up on the line of scrimmage as that ball was snapped. Vila came to Nebraska as a quarterback and played quarterback, then moved over. It is fourth and eight. And the Buffaloes are going. Seven, Seven and a half points to play. Here they come. And they got it. Ed Stewart, the blitzing linebacker from this side, forced him to step right into Dante Jones. Every third or fourth down situation, when Nebraska wants to do something, they're putting pressure on the quarterback. Stewart, You're throwing into the wind. Here's the punt by Erstad and taken on the run by Chris Hudson. He's a tough guy for it in this position. From the 21 yard line, first down. Stewart, pressure's coming, pressure's coming. They've got him down on the seven yard line. Dwayne Harris and Dante Jones, the two men, just came like wild men. Exactly right, Keith. Here's a look at what Colorado has done in the second half. They've had the ball six times, one touchdown. They've gone for it on fourth down three times and missed it. But look on the left side where they have started. From their own 11, their own 8, then they got it in Nebraska 36, their own 16, and their own 7. That is field position. That is special teams play. Nebraska has had it today. Second down and 23. Quick pop outside to Salam, who had come out there as a wide. And the Wisconsin Badgers cutting loose today against Michigan. Wolverine's schedule was brutal this year, and I think maybe their, their tank's getting a little low. The other surprise was the way that uh, Arizona State winning there, Notre Dame beating the Navy. the face mask call, so it'll be a first down now as the ball is moved out to the 33, and Stewart wants to throw again and does. Going big downfield, it's too long. Oregon, that's a very big ball game, Arizona-Oregon. Yes, it is. Oregon wins that game, and uh, they're sitting pretty for the Rose Bowl. Well, yeah, they're not in yet. This is Salah running up the middle. Uh -huh. Stewart hit as he throws. It is an incomplete. The next linebacker runs a 4-6-40, and that's... That's Tony Birdie down on the field. Yeah. Fourth down and three for Colorado. Ball was in the air as James Kidd made his turn. anything, though he's had, I think, a terrific second half as a defensive end. Dante Jones gets the vote to represent the Nebraska defense because they have been tremendous. Chevrolet donating $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to help those in financial need. Coy Detmer is in the ball game now at quarterback for the Colorado Buffaloes. Coy Detmer, 6'1", and they say 170 pounds, but I tell you what, when you stand next to him, you just don't cleave it. <laughs> Ty Detmer's uh, younger brother, of course, and I mean he can whistle that ball. And you're taking a look at the future right here for Colorado. They lose seven starters on offense and seven on defense, so this team is going to be a little bit different next year, but Detmer will be throwing a lot of footballs. On second down and one, Herschel Trotman, another freshman, a running back. Flag as Detmer throws, and the ball ricochets. Tom, congratulations. 
you show the team that the offensive line defense completely dominated in the first half. Now we played real well first half. Second half was kind of a stalemate. But uh, we're pleased with the effort of our players. I think they, they showed a lot of character today and played very well. Please. We understand why they're so happy. This is a tremendous win for your football team. The offense changed personalities for this ball game with Brooke Barringer leading this team. Yeah, we threw the ball a little more with Brooke. He did a great job. And uh, overall, we were just real pleased. We, we think we played a complete game. The kicking game was a big factor in the game. The, the second half, the team seemed offensively to lag just a little bit. What happened there? Well, we were probably playing a little too close to the vest. Tom, did you hold anything back in this football game on your offense or defense? Oh, we didn't hold anything back. Yeah. What, one last question. A number of people are going to ask you this. Let us ask you this first. Do you feel that Nebraska's number one team after they played this afternoon? I don't want to get involved in that controversy. We'll let um, the pundits figure that one out. Thanks. Tom, thank you. Okay. I like his attitude. I really do.